Hey guys, I hope you're well. Got the AS Val briefing for you today. All the stats, all the gunsmiths, you know what's coming. Interesting gun. Very first gun to come into multiplayer with bullet velocity. It was really bad at the beginning, only 250 meters a second. In the same season, they buffed that up to the 425 we have today. Really, it has lovely damage. 42 to the headshots up close. Even at a long distance, 19, okay, it's not brilliant, but you're not really going for long distance with this weapon. It's a short to mid-range weapon. Interesting point, you cannot actually have the FMJ perk on this. It does have the FMJ ammo, so I suppose that makes sense, but it would have been nice if they had actually knocked that so that if you had the FMJ ammo, you couldn't use the perk. It's a shame, but that's where we are. Really nice ADS speed, great sprint to ADS, love it. Some of the really bad things about this, the magazine size. When it actually came in, it had around 20 rounds. We're now we're at 25 on the base. It's too low because it has a great rate of fire. So that really is frustrating. We do need to buff that. But the reload speeds, not too bad, especially with the cancel reloads. For the movement speeds, it is above average for an assault rifle, which is really, really nice. This assault rifle is absolutely brilliant for zooming around the map. For the damage, headshots, really, really nice, up to 21 meters, and it's accurate enough to pull these off. After that, headshots, four shot kill. Not bad, but you have the upper and even the lower, up to that 21 meters, it's a four shot kill. Nice. For the accuracy of the weapon, the recoil is pretty much all vertical, but it has, about halfway through, it seems to almost zigzag backwards, but it's not, it's more of a sharp left pull. But the recoil isn't 100% consistent. It does change with each firing pattern. Hip fire, yeah, well, with those low magazines, it's not brilliant. But if you up the magazine, it's going to be a bit more useful. Iron sight is fine. Sometimes I think the gun gets in the way a bit. If it does, go with a red dot, but try not to use a red dot. As for the fittings, okay, I've got a fast, aggressive fitting here for you. Uh, the quick response barrel, combat stock, tactical laser, the extended mag, which I think is important because the rounds just aren't there. And we want to increase our bullet spread with the granulated grip tape. You can see all the change values there. It really is nice. We up that speed. We give us some more ADS speed and magazine. Really, really useful. For the perks, I think lightweight is important because we're going to have a really fast assault rifle here. So why not have some more speed? And if you're staying alive a lot, go with Vulture instead of Quick Fix here because that ammo count is just really frustrating. The time to kill doesn't change from the base because we haven't pushed out the range or changed anything that affects that. But the accuracy is a little different now. The recoil, the extra ammo will give us the rest of the pattern. The yank doesn't feel as bad, which is really nice, and of course the bullet spread is better. For hip fire, those extra rounds make things a lot nicer for us. Iron sight obviously unchanged. For another multiplayer fitting, you can go with the marksman build. This is nice actually if your aim is on point. If your aim is not on point, don't bother. You've got the mid-range barrel. You can choose what optic you want, but obviously the bigger the optic, the more ADS speed you're going to lose combat stock, tactical laser, and of course the 15 round FMJ. Pushes out our range, gives us a now a 90% penetration, and raises our bullet velocity up to 525, which is really, really helpful. Lightweight again, I think is good, and you do have enough rounds to keep going for quite a while, so go with quick fix on here. If you do go with a bigger scope though, toughness could be very, very useful. As for the damage on this, it does change the hitboxes, as you can see there. Headshots are a one-shot kill up to that 28 meters. Really, really good. As soon as you get into the two-shot kill, it's a bit nasty, but it's a quick tap. No big deal. That torso and lower arms, probably the torso, is where you're going to be aiming for most of the time if you can't get a headshot. Really, really do avoid the legs and those upper arms. Those upper arms, it happens unfortunately, but that will make the time to kill really, really nasty. As for Battle Royale, I actually decided that the long range build was nicer. This is like having an SKS straight out of the drop without needing the Gold Sniper Expert. We've got that mid-range barrel again. 
Optic is your choice, but I'm using this as a replacement sniper, so I've gone for the 4.4 scope. Want the steady stock? Obviously the 15 round FMJ and that granulated grip tape just to help out with the bullet spread. That penetration is up there nicely and of course the range. We lower the ADS speed as expected but we're using this as a sniper so who cares really. Not bad. Rounds per second obviously changed quite a bit there. The extended mag is a must with this. It really really is important. It's going to be annoying if you don't. Get long range for those headshots because that will really boost the damage and fast ADS just to help out, why not? You can see the damage here, it's really, really not bad. I love it. 82 meters is where it will change into the final phase. Now, if you're shooting at that, excellent stuff, but you can do three round kills in that. Very, very nice indeed. I think this weapon is really, really easy to use. It's got great ADS speed, great movement speed. The close range damage is amazing and the amount of headshots I can get with this is just silly. It just happens, I'm not even trying. I don't like that it doesn't have that FMJ option if you're using the base ammo. They really could have switched it so that you couldn't use FMJ with the FMJ mag, but they chose not to. The bullet velocity at very long range can be annoying. You may have to lead a lot, but it's not the end of the world. Thank you for your time in watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more and hit like if you did enjoy the video. I'm always interested in your comments, so please throw them down below. See you next time, guys.